Right, so I have always wanted to see whether or not I can uh, use a cordless tool battery like this one here to start my car. And uh, today I'm going to answer that question once and for all. After all, this starter motor here is only a 12 volt drush DC motor, right? So how hard can it be? If this battery pack can be able to power this, then there's no reason why it cannot power that, right? Wrong. This is the inside of the battery pack. Uh, that's why it looked like inside. And this is a 6S 1P. So 6 cell in series to make it 24 volt. So it's 4 volt each. 24 volt total. So what I did is I made a battery pack that is uh, 12 volts this is a 3S4P battery pack okay so this comes from two of these I cut right in the middle so they are in series but I cut in the middle so only three in series now Okay, so that's a positive terminal, that's a negative terminal. Same here on this side. So 3 in series, that is 3S1P. I parallel all four together. That is 3S4P. And this is only from two battery pack. And first I try with one pack. Right, just one single pack like this. I cut it in half right there. And make it a 3S2P battery pack and I was not able to start my car so I added another pack on the bottom parallel everything together positive to positive and uh, negative to negative just like you see here same on the other side and let's see if I can start my car with this pack with this pack which is um, 3S 4P each cell is capable of delivering 20 amp of current. So, uh, four in series, four in parallel, like this, will be 80 amps. So, let's see. Alright, so right now my car battery is completely discharged and I'm not able to start my car. So, let me demonstrate. Let me try to start my car, right? So there you go, as you can see, you can just hear crank and that's it it's not able to even turn the uh, the crankcase just for like one second so battery is completely uh, discharged so next I'm gonna hook it up to my uh, homemade 12 volt battery pack see if this can start my car right. Alright, so next I have hooked it up to my uh, homemade battery pack right there in parallel mode. So positive to positive, negative to negative of my car battery. Let's see if we can start my car with this.
as you can see there it actually turned the crankshaft but not strong enough to uh, to uh, start the engine so back to the back to the drawing board so what I'm gonna do next is just gonna add another pack on the bottom here so this is a 3S4P one more pack will make it at 3S6P let's see if that can be able to start my car alright so I've added another pack on the bottom as you can see there so I have now um, 3S6P let's see if this can uh, start my car right so let's get ready oh yeah there you go you're good to go the more the reason why I have to disconnect immediately is because the um, the alternator in the car will charge my battery pack at 14 and half volts and that is over voltage uh, this pack is maximum only 12.6 volts so uh, once you start the car once the car started you have to disconnect it right away otherwise you will not dis um, overcharge this battery pack and that is not going to be good for this pack but uh, just for a moment uh, of overcharge is fine. Uh, this is not fully charged anyway. So there you go. Right, so there you have it. Uh, coatless tool battery pack. You can start the car with the coatless tool battery pack. But let me disconnect this first before I show things out. But you have to connect it in parallel six times. I'll show you again here. So each pack was originally 24 volts. I cut it right in the middle. You can see there. Just a Dremel tool. Cut the connection right there. So now I have two, uh, three pack. All right. So 3S, 2P. Right. Added two more pack on the bottom. So I have 3S, 6P, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 3S, 6P. And each cell can discharge 20 amp. Alright, so I have 6P, that means the discharge rate of this is 120 amp. So that's why previously I only have two pack, discharge rate only 80 amp, it's not enough to uh, run the uh, uh, starter but with the 120 amp discharge rate now uh, I was able to uh, start the car alright I think I'm done check this out so I've soldered the terminal onto a uh, XT60 connector and I also made a uh, balanced charging cable so I can charge the uh, battery uh, pack with my uh, balanced charger and also uh, put back the cover <laughs> so I probably have to uh, have something in the middle here tap it to uh, cover it up but uh, Check this out. Looks like a battery pack from hell. Actually, it looks like a super sized sandwich from hell. Is that cool? Alright, so next, what am I going to do? I'm going to plug this in here. I already soldered the, uh, the wire, the connecting wire with the uh, connector, XT60 connector, so I can connect to the battery pack. I solder this connector to the jumper cable. See here, this wire. Solder to the other prong here. Same here on the 
uh, ground terminal so two wires coming out here so I just uh, clip it on here I use the same jumper cable this is the jam uh, same jumper cable I used before so I can just have to connect into my battery pack here and I'm good to go so what I'm going to do is connect to my battery I'm going to remove the positive terminal from my car battery and I want to see if my car can start with just this battery pack only right? alright so I have disconnected the uh, positive terminal for my uh, car battery, the main battery, the lead acid battery it's all disconnected so it's now being connected only by the homemade power tool battery pack so uh, let's try to see if I can start the car with just that battery pack alright so I'm ready to start the car like that so I have to turn it off now because the alternator is putting out 14 and a half volts it's gonna overcharge my battery so I'm gonna turn it off all right car is turned off now so there you have it, the world's first power tool jump start battery pack, homemade. Alright folks, and uh, that's all I have for now. And uh, I'll also put the link uh, in the description. Uh, I made a previous video showing you how to make a um, balance uh, cable for your battery pack. I'll put the link so, uh, so that uh, you, know, you want to watch it. Click on it if you want to watch it. All right. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.